Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will look another question on projection of lines. Today we will look an example where front view and top view lengths are given in the question and the inclination of the line with horizontal and vertical plane are to be found out. Before moving ahead with the question, make sure you have liked this video and you have subscribed my channel. So you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Just a quick revision before proceeding with the question. There are four inclinations which you have to remember. True lens inclination with HP is termed as theta. True lens inclination with VP is termed as phi. Front fuse inclination with XY is termed as alpha and top fuse inclination with XY is termed as beta. Out of these four angles, theta and phi are real angles whereas alpha and beta are apparent angles. Second point you have to remember is for any given point or end point of a line front view and top view always lies on a single vertical line that is vertical projector for that corresponding point. Also you have to remember this solution of projection of lines where the line is inclined to both reference planes. With the help of this single solution you can solve any question on projection of lines. How this solution is obtained? We have taken a video on this question where the line is inclined to both reference planes and the link is provided in the description. Let's take an example. The question says the top view of 75 mm long line AB measures 65 mm while the length of its front view is 50 mm. Its one end A is in HP and 12 mm in front of the VP. Draw the projections of AB and determine its inclinations with the HP and VP. Let's extract the given data first. So the name of the line is AB and the true length. So here the question is a bit confusing but in order to make the things simple here three dimensions are given one is the true length second is your top view length and third is your front view so in order to identify whether top view is being 75 or top view is being 65 simple logic should be applied here true length is the biggest dimension so top view length will be 65 and the true length will be 75 mm so true length is 75, top view length is 65 and front view length is 50 mm. Also the end point A, both front view and top view locations are given in the question, A is in HP and 12 mm in front of VP. What is required to be found? So theta that is inclination with HP and phi inclination with VP are required to be found. Now. Let us put all these given data on this solution in order to understand how to proceed for the solution. Front view and top view position of endpoint A is given. So in this question, these two positions are mentioned. Then top view length and front view length are also given. So this is our top view length here. This is front view length. But we cannot draw them here because angle alpha and beta are not given to us. Instead, we can draw them parallel to xy here for which the angles are not needed. Once we have drawn up to here, as we can see on the solution, this was obtained because of this projector. So once we have this, we can go in a reverse manner drawing this projector. And similarly, this was obtained from here, vertical projector was given up and then we have obtained this length. So we can draw a vertical projector from this position as well. After this, we have the true length with us. So taking true length 75 mm in the compass, keeping compass at this front view position and cutting an arc, on this vertical projector, we will be having this. And similarly, keeping the compass on top view location, cutting an arc on this vertical projector, we will be having this point located. Once we have this, we can locate the locus. Once the locus is with us, you just have to rotate this front view up to this point and obtain the final front view. 
here you have to rotate it on the locus and obtain final top view now let's draw it keeping this for the reference starting with the xy line a vertical projector a is in hp so its front view will be on xy line it is 12 mm in front of vp so it is in first quadrant according to which the top view should be 12 mm below xy line then you have to take the top view length that is 65 mm here parallel to xy line and naming the corresponding point so here it was d1 for our question it will be b1 here then the front view length corresponding point will be b2 dash now you have to draw a vertical projector from this point vertically upwards so like this here and drop projector from this b2 dash downwards once you have drawn the projectors keep your compass at front view point with radius as 75 mm that is the true length given to us cut an arc and join it corresponding point name here so we can see from here it was d1 dash in the earlier solution here it will be b1 dash then keeping the compass at a cutting an arc on this vertical projector joining it corresponding name will be b2 then you have to draw locus of b in front view parallel to xy similarly there will be a locus of b in top view then you have to keep your compass at front view position a dash and take the distance in your compass as a dash to b2 dash and rotate it above up to the locus obtaining the final front view that is b dash joining it similarly keeping your compass at top view point and distance in your compass a up to b1 you have to rotate it down and obtain the final top view point b join a to b that is our final top view in order to check whether you have drawn the correct solution parallel to the projector of a draw a vertical line from b dash if your solution is 100 percent correct you will be having b dash and b on a single vertical line then this is the theta which was required to be found out and this is the phi which was asked in the question hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching